everyone zeddy here again today with a bonus video because we have a major update from hearthstone a major patch is coming next week and uh yeah looks like no balance patch nothing like that for constructed we kind of figured that was going to happen which means you know next week we're gonna get this patch it's probably gonna be another week probably not till two weeks from now we're gonna see a balance patch in hearthstone which I, I just can't even imagine two more weeks of Rogue Stone, but here we are. But I wanted to give you guys an update on the actual cool stuff coming to Hearthstone, mainly Battlegrounds Season 3. And a reminder, if you enjoy our content on the channel and you feel like it earned your subscription, please hit the sub button down below. Give the video a like. It helps us out a lot as we're going to be talking about some good stuff and some bad stuff because um yeah there's something i'm not very happy about but again another thing just to be expected and i don't know if you've been following me on twitter today uh there's a nice new marvel snap bundle that's like 130 dollars that makes everything hearthstone seems uh to do really cheap <laughs> comparison so yes um this is posted below i will link it these patch notes below but battleground season three will be launching on uh next week so that'll be the next major patch in the game january 17th that's a tuesday with season three with new undead and dual type minions so we're going to be seeing dual type or dual minions in um in battlegrounds which is really cool considering you i don't even know how that's gonna work with the you know the whole uh tribe system that they have going on but be really cool and um undead will ro revolve around death effects like reborn and death rattle dual type minions of synergies with two different minion types at the same time we're not going to review the minions here um we'll just go over it briefly take a look at it but you can see there's like a murloc dragon after you play a battle cry minion game plus one plus one so that's like infinite scaling that's kind of cool we got a big legendary unit tier six unit here a six six undead with the vine shield and reborn but i'll be checking out the update for sure um i play battlegrounds i have almost all the achievements i have all the wins with all the classes um, the only thing i'm missing is like um some of the tribe stuff like you have to play like four thousand of each uh style of minion and now we're gonna have to do with undeads too um i, I haven't completed one although murlocs is close as i am a i am a crit view after all i am a crip uh former crip mod i gotta follow in the murloc path um there's a new side of putricide professor putricide has been revived for season three his new hero power is a build in the undead let's zoom in on this four gold it costs quite a lot and you craft a custom undead and you only get three so they got to be pretty good for four gold um but i guess that's just one more than the average unit but still be really cool there'll probably be an achievement for him i will work on that uh this is what i was talking about not being happy about uh the battlegrounds track refresh the uh the rewards track that is for battlegrounds will remain pay to win they are still locking the extra two heroes which means i will continue to not buy it i just don't like the idea of paywalling a competitive advantage in Hearthstone. And I know games like Marvel Snap and all that, that paywall cards behind a season pass or all that stuff makes this not seem nearly as bad as it used to. Uh, like it's really disheartening to me, but I'm still gonna stick by it. If you wanna purchase it, whatever, it's like 15, $20, something like that. And they outline all the cosmetics and stuff you'll get. If you wanna take a look, uh, it looks like it's just 40 levels again. I completed this rewards track really quickly um even with like the free one uh it doesn't take too long but uh yeah it's just it, it it's just kind of this hero thing just makes me sad i wish you could unlock the hero slots like at level 40 you know level 40 you complete the whole thing you get the hero slots like you get that advantage for a little bit but again my bro's making them look good i'm sorry i'm really salty about that we're on twitter going crazy about it um and then there's going to be reveals and developer insights throughout um the next four days they're starting today actually there's going to be a uh, minion card reveals a new hero deep dive uh dual minion type card reveals other minions i think this first one will be on rdu's channel um he might be he's streaming right now he's he's going going over the notes while i'm going over it and uh yeah you can check out who's gonna be there crip is gonna be uh, i guess he's coming on early to do some stuff and so yeah check out the links and all of that and there's going to be an event as well which will have drops uh tomorrow there will be drops tomorrow or not tomorrow sorry this is on the 12th so in a couple days i'll do a on our 12th video i'll make sure to remind you guys to get your free stuff because i'm almost certain there are drops that are related to battlegrounds 
We'll take a look at that in a second. But there's a bunch of different team members, uh, all content creators. We have um, the Latin group. I'm not familiar with a lot of these. I know Serial for me, Tesdi, uh, really awesome people. I'm sure they're all great, but I'm only familiar with the top two. And then uh, the Americas, I'm pretty much familiar with everybody here. Crip, Nicolina, Bofer, Dog, Sunbacon, Relax, also known as Victor, or 12 Wins when he used to play Arena, Educated College, Cece Leah, uh, Miss Bowers, and then we got the EU over here with RDU, Kerry Potter, and a bunch of cool people. So I recommend checking out the event. It should be a lot of fun. Um, I'm guessing they'll get early access to build this stuff, right? Like it's similar to, they're getting their own theory crafting thing. So that's really cool. Um, it says players will compete in the three teams. And uh, what is it saying? Until the time of the event is up, the winning team will be redeemed perfect plague. 15 season passes will be awarded for each member of the winning team for them to distribute to their community so basically they're not winning money they're winning stuff to give back to the community which i think is actually a lot cooler um i mean as a content creator if they would want to give me free money and all that that's cool but uh, the fact they'll pass it on you know to the community cool stuff i'm not a fan of the you know the paywall stuff and all that but people get it for free from blizzard i don't see an issue with that so yeah that'll be really cool um it says each competitor will be streaming from their own perspective they'll also have additional season pass codes to give away through the event so make sure to watch your favorite streamer as they push for uh, plague perfection so yeah watch, watch whatever streamer you like they'll gonna have more codes more giveaways should be really cool so that's all good and they said celebrate the new season Season with battlegrounds twitch drops okay so the drops are not for that event they're for the 17th I, I did read this a little bit ahead but didn't get that exactly um basically for like six days you can earn your for our first ever battlegrounds specific twitch drops so you're gonna have lots of time you just have to watch one hour over like six days like you, and it could be anybody it won't have to be what it'll be any horse it doesn't even have to be a battleground stream so again i'll war i'll let you guys know probably on the 17th when we do like our day one patch review because maybe there's stuff in the shop and all of that but i'll let you guys know um but yeah it looks like a portrait here and it's a, a light keeper zarella epic battlegrounds portraits it will also be available for purchase in game after the drop period ends so if you miss out on it you can buy it probably with some filthy runestones but yeah cool stuff again that's all the updates we really have here um no patch notes yet nothing like that they're gonna be revealing a bunch of stuff so they don't want to like spoil that and i will keep you guys posted we're not going to review the cards i recommend um it's ben three two one for that nicolina regis usually reviews battlegrounds uh units as well but i wanted to let you guys know you know what's coming and also the fact that yeah we're probably not going to get a balance patch unless they attach it to this which is not looking super likely probably for a couple of weeks it's possible we get nerfs and buffs to go with this patch but i would not hold uh, my breath on that one and again i'm not a huge fan of the meta so been playing a lot of arena and duels in the next few days or some variety if you're watching the stream just to try and keep my sanity so quick update on that hope you guys enjoyed it and if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends